In the vast, unforgiving desert, there existed a hidden oasis, a sanctuary of life, amidst the barren sands. It was here that the tribe of El Zahir made their home. The oasis provided them with water, shade, and sustenance, a rare gift in the harsh desert. The tribe lived in harmony with their environment, their lives intertwined with the cycles of nature. Young Tariq stood before the tribe's elder, his heart pounding with pride and anticipation. Today, he would take the warrior's oath, joining the ranks of his ancestors. The elder presented him with a sword, its blade shimmering in the sunlight. With solemn words, Tariq swore to protect his people and uphold their honor. The tribe cheered, welcoming their new protector. One fateful day, the peace of the oasis was shattered. Scouts reported the approach of a hostile army, led by the ruthless warlord Al-Malik. The enemy's banners were visible on the horizon, a menacing sight against the clear desert sky. The tribe knew that they must defend their home at all costs. Tariq and his fellow warriors prepared for the imminent battle, their resolve unshaken. The battle commenced with a thunderous clash. Warriors from both sides charged into the fray, swords and spears glinting in the harsh sunlight. The air was filled with the sounds of combat, the clang of metal, the cries of the wounded, and the thundering hooves of horses. Tariq fought valiantly, his skills and bravery on full display. The sand beneath their feet soon turned crimson with blood. In the midst of the chaos, Tariq found himself face to face with Omalik. The warlord's eyes burned with fury, and his reputation as a fearsome warrior was well earned. The two clashed in a deadly dance, their swords moving with lightning speed. Each strike was parried, each thrust dodged, as they fought for dominance. The outcome of this duel would determine the fate of the oasis. With a final, desperate effort, Tariq saw an opening and delivered a decisive blow. Al-Malik fell to the ground, defeated. A hush fell over the battlefield as both sides realized what had transpired. The warriors of El Zahir, inspired by Tariq's victory, rallied with renewed vigor. The enemy, demoralized by the loss of their leader, began to retreat. As the dust settled, the tribe tended to their wounded and honored the fallen. The oasis had been defended, but at great cost. The survivors gathered to mourn and remember those who had sacrificed their lives for the safety of their home. Amidst the grief, there was a sense of relief and gratitude for the victory that had been hard won. In recognition of his bravery and leadership, the elder named Tariq, the new leader of the tribe. The warriors and villagers looked on with approval, their faith in him unwavering. Tariq accepted the responsibility with humility, vowing to lead with wisdom and strength. Under his guidance, the tribe would rebuild and continue to thrive in their desert sanctuary. In the days that followed, the tribe set about rebuilding what had been lost. Tents and structures were repaired, and life began to return to normal. Children played by the water's edge, and the laughter of the tribe echoed once more through the oasis. The scars of battle would remain, but the spirit of the people was unbroken. They drew strength from each other and their shared experiences. As the sun set over the desert, Tariq stood at the edge of the oasis, contemplating the future. The challenges they had faced had forged a stronger, more resilient community. He knew that there would be more trials to come, but he was confident in the tribe's ability to overcome them. The oasis, a symbol of life and hope, stood as a testament to their courage and unity. Together, they would face whatever the future held, with Tariq leading them into a new era of peace and prosperity. This epic tale of blood and sand captures the resilience, bravery, and unity of a desert tribe defending their home. Through battles and sacrifices, they emerge stronger, guided by a new leader who embodies their spirit and hopes for a brighter future.